going forwards, we're going to be CO2 based taxation for the foreseeable future. There's been uncertainty within the industry about where taxation might go. So this allows fleet managers and fleet operators to plan uh, the type of vehicles that they're going to have on their fleets with more certainty. Uh, we're able to provide advice on that. Historically, um, for the last 10 years, diesel has been the fuel of choice for most fleet operators because um, the, the tax system has encouraged um, low CO2 emitting vehicles, which diesel are. Company car drivers who are in diesel cars, they were expecting to see a 1% reduction in their company car tax in 2016-17. What this means is that the 3% diesel supplement is going to remain until 2020, so they're actually going to have a 2% increase in their company car tax, which is at the same rate, 2% increase, as petrol drivers will see. But we're now at a stage where these ultra-low emission vehicles are coming in. When we're talking about low and ultra-low emission vehicles, we're, we're not talking about little two-seater city cars. You know, we have executive cars that fall below 110 grams per kilometre. So it's about choosing the right technology and the right type of car, rather than suddenly deciding that we have to drive a little city car because that's the only thing that's, that's uh, low CO2.